That's strange, isn't it? You can see that. And you're so smart, you're such a big scientist, but you can't figure out that this is a creation. Why? Well, because if it is, then there's a creator, and you don't want to know about that. That's the real problem, isn't it? Is that the problem? You don't want to know. So, you the scientist, you're supposed to bring me the evidence, testable evidence. Can I see any kind of evidence for what your argument is? Anything. Just show me something. They said, well, human being looks like a monkey. Well, uh, hold on. Hold on. I, too, have a brother-in-law, and he does look like a monkey. You're right. But that doesn't mean that human beings came out of monkeys. And even if they did, even if they did, that doesn't prove your theory that there's no God. Where'd the monkey come from? And excuse me, I don't like to hurt your philosophy, but if it's evolve, something is here, it becomes better. So it's not this thing anymore, is it? It becomes that, yes or no? And then that becomes the next thing and the next thing. And according to the pictures they show you in the books, written by atheists, it shows you that there's this little creepy thing comes out of the water. Hmm? And then the creepy thing becomes like a little small, I don't know what, and then it becomes like a marmoset. The marmoset becomes some kind of a little small monkey, a bigger monkey, then it becomes an ape of some kind, then it becomes a chimpanzee looking thing, and then a gorilla, and then a man looking thing, and then finally, hey, there's homo sapien, right? Right? That's what they show, yes or no? Okay, even if we go with this theory, humans came from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? Oops.